let's go back to that developing story out of Morocco and the earthquake that struck last night at just gone 11. Moroccan state television reporting that the death toll may well now have reached over 600. Our Africa correspondent, Rusra El Baguette, is following this story for us and joins us now live. Rusra, it's good to have you with us. So let's just pick up on that latest line that's coming in from State TV there in Morocco, that the death toll, I mean, from when we were speaking earlier, could have doubled. Yeah, I mean, it's, yeah, it's, more, it's doubled, more than doubled since this morning, and that's to be expected as horrifying as it is considering that the earthquake hit in the mountains, and a lot of these mountainous villages are hard to reach. A journalist on the ground told us that buildings were collapsing on the mountainside, but also bits of the mountain have been seen as falling off. I mean, no avalanches yet, but just to give you an idea of how dangerous it is to experience an earthquake in those areas. And just next to the mountains, Marrakesh is the tourism capital of Morocco, where loads of people have been end of summer, you know, spending their time there. And, and the earthquake struck at 11 past 11 at night on a Friday night, where loads of people were in the clubs, in the bars, in the restaurants. And we were told on the ground that when the earthquake struck, people ran out of these establishments into the main road. And soon after, the road, the highway to Casablanca from Marrakesh was packed with people wanting to get out of Marrakesh as soon as possible. Now, this earthquake is, is the most deadly and the first since 2004 when an earthquake hit. But that earthquake killed at least 600 and was nowhere near as strong as this 6.8 magnitude earthquake that is fairly shallow, quite shallow, and is expected to have actually caused a lot of infrastructural damage. So we do expect that the death toll will continue to increase throughout the day as more and more people are uncovered from the rubble. And Yusra, I was speaking to a, a local journalist just uh, earlier this hour uh, who was saying that calls haven't yet been made by the Moroccan government to get help from neighbouring nations, but that may well come because, you, as you rightly point out, this has happened in a remote part of the country and this kind of occurrence is, is very rare in Morocco. Yeah, I mean, the UN has made it clear that they're on standby to help the Moroccan government with this uh, effort to, to rescue people. At the moment on the ground, the police, the army, the firefighters, they're all deployed trying to work as quickly and as effectively as, as possible. And Morocco hasn't called for outside help, even though this earthquake has been felt by neighboring countries as far as Portugal. So they do have help if they need it, but at the moment they're focusing on local emergency efforts.